Hey, I'm Ben Hollenbeek, here to talk to you about some basic troubleshooting techniques for Pocket Wizard Plus series radios. There are three areas of functionality we're going to cover. Camera to transmitter, transmitter to receiver, and receiver to flash. Now before we get into that, there are a few things we want to cover to make sure that everything is functioning properly before we can determine if there is an issue with the radios. Keep in mind that when remotely triggering a flash with any Plus series radio, it should be set to manual mode. Also, when troubleshooting, remember that radios are only one component of your system. Try a different camera and try a different flash, if possible, as part of the process. Issues often occur with other components. The most basic thing we need to check are the batteries. Are you using fresh batteries? Sometimes batteries right out of the package or even freshly charged rechargeable batteries can be subpar. They can show full power at installation and then be low voltage just a few moments later. Try different ones. If you're using rechargeable, try alkaline or vice versa. Have batteries leaked inside your radio? There might be invisible or obvious battery corrosion. Try cleaning the battery terminal with a bit of aluminum foil with vinegar or lemon juice sprinkled on it. If there is battery acid damage on the circuit board, your radio is going to need to come in for repair, and battery acid damage is not covered under warranty. Next is the hot shoe. Is your hot shoe making a good contact? Try cleaning the hot shoe connections on all of your equipment with a pencil eraser. Clean the camera, radio, and flash contacts as needed or try another camera. Make sure to tighten the locking ring all the way down. Is your radio's hot shoe foot damaged? If it is making poor connection internally or externally, this could cause intermittent issues. Perhaps the internal contacts need attention. To learn how to replace the shoe on your radio, which can help you in determining if the internal contacts are working properly, watch the video in the link below. Firmware is another important factor to ensure that your Pocket Wizard radios are functioning properly. To learn how to update your firmware, click on the link below. For users of the Plus X radio, keep in mind that that product does not have firmware. It is always good to perform a factory reset when troubleshooting to ensure an issue isn't being caused by improper settings on the radio. It's fairly easy to perform a reset. Simply hold the test button as you power on the radio. If you hold down the test button on startup with the Plus X radios, it will put those into transmitter only mode. For more information, check out the link below. One last thing to check are your sync cables. If you're using a sync cable, we have to make sure it's functioning properly. Checking your cable doesn't require a radio. All you need is your flash. Connect the cable to the flash and leave the pocket wizard end of the cable disconnected. Use a paperclip, key, or coin to bridge or short the metal contacts on the pocket wizard end. The flash should fire every time. If it does not, you may have a bad cable. So try another cable or a different flash. Now that we know everything is working properly, it's time to start troubleshooting your radios. We'll begin by making sure that the camera and the transmitting radio are working together. Mount the Pocket Wizard radio into the hot shoe of the camera or connect it with a PC cable and turn the camera and radio on. When you take a picture with the camera, does the LED on the transmitting radio blink in sync with the trigger? If not, make sure there is good connection between the camera and transmitter. If something isn't right, try a different radio as the transmitter or try setting your camera to manual and triggering at X-Sync or slower shutter speed. When swapping radios around, make sure to label them. Next, we'll check to see that the receiver is hearing the transmitting radio. Turn on your receiving radio, but don't connect it to the flash just yet. Set it down or hold it out a few feet away where you can still see the LED on the radio. When you take a picture, do the LEDs on the transmitting radio and receiving radio blink in sync with each other? If only the transmitter blinks, but not the receiver, then you may have a radio problem. Make sure the radios are all on the same channel and zone. Try a different radio as the receiver. Try a different location. Do your best to maximize the performance of the radios by following the guidelines in the link below. Pressing test on your transmitter sends out hundreds of triggers, while using the camera only sends out a few. Test can help you narrow down problems but make sure to optimize and prioritize performance when using the camera rather than the test button. Lastly, we'll check to make sure that the receiving radio is properly triggering the flash. Be sure to check your sync cables like we did earlier in the video and make sure that your flash is working on its own without the Pocket Wizard radio. If your cable and flash are working, try a different receiving Pocket Wizard radio and remember to label your radios when trying different ones. If none of this addresses your issues, 
tell us more about your setup, like exactly what flashes, cameras, cables, and radio models you're using. Also, tell us more about the environment that you're using them in and exactly what's happening. We're here to help.